Uh, my name is Niklas Carlson, and I'm a doctoral student at the University of Gothenburg. Uh, and I will present uh, how a badge can be used in another context uh, than uh, in higher education or in formal learning. I will start to talk about the CMOC, uh, created by four teachers. Was it faster? Yeah. Uh, last year. And a, a CMOC based on uh, the philosophy of connectivism and networking. And it was designed by and for teachers uh, and focused on community building and interaction. The structure was loosely, at the loose, and it was uh, weekly hangouts with experts. And they were offering a number of tasks that, was, that wasn't obligatory. obligatory. Uh, the four teachers organized and planned and set up an internet site, a website page for this course. Uh, did it uh, totally voluntary. And uh, there was no funding when they started. They got a small amount later on. And it was in uh, last year or in the winter. And around 1,500 teachers enrolled the course. Uh, It was aimed to raise teachers' digital and social media competencies. And uh, it was three cornerstones. Digital competence, sharing is caring, and <coughs> school development in this CMOOC. And about the badge. The badge described uh, on their webpage is, uh, and it's explained as a certificate for abilities, achievement, participation, and so on. And it's a way to digitally verify informal learning and works as a complement to formal qualifications as credits from higher education, teaching, <coughs> development, and a diploma. So a badge here was, is something else than you get in formal learning, as they explained it. And it was a community badge. You did something. Uh, and you were awarded for the badge, and its peer assessment was really important here. And you gave it back to the community. This is a slide, a picture of one of the organizers made it uh, while they were setting up the badge. The criteria uh, for the badge was to show competence using digital tools, for communication, learning, and creation. Uh, competence in, in sharing is caring. That you reply on someone who is tweeting. Uh, and that you take what you learn from others to your practice in school. That was the only criteria. Uh, only. That was the criteria for the batch. Uh, and peer evaluation was really important. Um, the organizers uh, evaluate in the beginning, but then the peers also started to evaluate others. 1500 enrolled the course. This is the number of the people who actually got a badge. Um, not so much to say about that. Uh, we know that from other open courses and so on. That uh, taking a badge is uh, uh, to close the course is not so important for everyone. And the badge, we can discuss that later on. Uh, what a badge can, uh, what a badge is meant, and what's what's the value of a badge. Uh, the result uh, applying for the badge involves. Uh, the presentation of self as well as what is claimed to be done in order to meet the criteria for the badge. So it was all, it wasn't only the criteria of the badge that was important, it was also the presentation of the what they are, what they are doing as teachers on the net that was important. Uh, 
some applications focus on handling digi digital tools, others on their enlarged network, others were in focus with the, the work with students, what they did in the classrooms, and some was focused on what they shared, what they learned on, on, from others, and shared with the colleagues that didn't attend to the course. Uh, in most applications, networking, networking is mentioned and uh, increased particip participation in these kind of forums, Facebook or Twitter. And in some cases, also networking in uh, other spaces like uh, ed camps or teach night meets were important. <clears throat> we can see that there are different types of people who attended the course and applied for the batch. Uh, from novice, novice bloggers to more experienced. But there are also people, and these people are blogging about their teaching practice, uh, or think thoughts about what they are going to do. But there are also a couple of uh, blogs that were done together with the, uh, the students. And we can see that uh, the experienced bloggers know about Batch before they started the course and, or heard about it. But the novice bloggers uh, haven't heard about it and it was the first time they get in touch with Batches at all. And uh, they had a lot of trouble to understand how to do and uh, also why they should, uh, uh, not maybe why, but how to, how to show it later on. Uh, some conclusions, uh, more experienced bloggers use the web blog sort and the application as an exhibition space where they display their views and knowledge on, on certain issues. Uh, these blogs had a few comments or uh, from other participations, and no, the novice bloggers are more. There are more comments on the blog, and they are more uh, engaged with others. And it's these kind of blogs were more hybrid forms that served both as an exhibition and performance space. Um, and it's also seen when they are awarded for the, for the badge that it was very uh, big differences in what they are awarded for. Uh, yeah. Conclusions then, uh, further on. The comments given on the, the applications for the badge were generally positive. It was almost no negative feedback. Uh, and uh, the badges can be regarded as awards for participation rather than assessment of the participation. And this is what you could uh, expect when uh, you set up a community membership badge. Um, we uh, have thought about working on with how this badge has been used. Uh, a lot of people put it on their web page and they are proud of taking the badge. Uh, but we haven't interviewed the participants, so what it's meant for them after uh, a period after the course was finished. So I thought about working on with this. Okay. Questions? Thank you. Thank you. Questions, comments? Again, please, quick ones this time. Save the longer ones for after the coffee break. That's really interesting that um, the novice bloggers got more comments and activity on it than uh, the experienced bloggers. Yeah, um, we saw that. Uh, 
not only on the pitches that they are also awarded for, uh, or that they use it as the certificate, but in general, uh, the more experienced bloggers have been gone for a long time and get their reputation and they present uh, their ideas. But I know which bloggers were more focused on communication, the dialogue. Yeah. Anyone else? Okay, then. Thank you.